What's up, everybody? It's Young Cure with a Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer analysis corrections. I recently uploaded my analysis of the recently released gameplay trailer, and a couple of you pointed out some mistakes that I made that I would like to rectify. Nothing big, but still worth mentioning. First things first, yeah, I know. He's called Barrett, not Garrett. It was an accident, three minutes into the analysis. And, well, my bad. Minor brain fart. Hashtag deal with it. But perhaps the biggest and most significant mistake that I need to clear up is the game engine. During my analysis, I compared Final Fantasy VII's visuals to those of Final Fantasy vs. XIII, now known as XV, noting a ton of similarities. This made me assume that the two games were using the same game engine, but that is in fact not the case. Whereas Final Fantasy XV uses Square Enix's in-house Luminous Engine, it's been announced recently that Final Fantasy VII Remake uses Unreal Engine 4. Not sure exactly why they opted to use Unreal Engine 4 instead of their in-house engine, but if I had to guess, I would say that it was to make the technical side of development easier, as Unreal Engine 4 has proven itself to be both a powerful and flexible game engine, and with the sheer scale and magnitude that Final Fantasy VII Remake entails, the development studio could definitely use all the help they can get. Not to say that there's anything wrong with the Luminous Engine, but considering how long Final Fantasy XV's development has taken, maybe they're still working out all the kinks of the engine. Who knows? Now, just because they don't use the same game engine doesn't mean that Final Fantasy VII Remake didn't borrow from Versus XIII. The similarities are still there, so they likely borrowed certain assets and concepts to accelerate development of the game. Moving on, I want to talk about Barrett's voice. I said in my analysis that I'm not sure if his voice in the remake was the same one from Advent Children's, who was played by Bo Billingsley, as the two voices do sound somewhat different. What up, boo? It's Barrett. I am the man. Oil cloud. I just found the biggest damn oil field you ever seen. Survey is done, so I should be able to get out there and see Marlene soon. You let her know, all right, Spike? We're paying you more than a few gil. You best be worth it. But many of you noted that the voice actor is likely the same, likening Barrett's voice in the remake to that of Jet Black's from Cowboy Bebop, who was also played by Bo Billingsby. So it looks like there's a high probability that Bo will be reprising his role, albeit with a deeper and rougher voice than his previous interpretation of the character. Nothing has been confirmed yet, mind you, but fans of Bo's work seem to be pretty sure that it's his voice they heard. I also want to talk about Wedge's voice. In the analysis, I said that it was pretty awful and that I hope they change it in the final game. You're doing this for the planet, same as us. Some of you agreed, while others said that it was exactly how they imagined Wedge's voice to be. To that, I say to each his own, but for me, the voice sounds too cartoony, forced, and fake. There's nothing wrong with someone having an annoying voice, per se, as long as it fits the character, but I still think it's gotta sound natural, and Wedge's voice is anything but to my ears, but again, it's all a matter of personal preference. Last but not least, I'd like to talk about this scene in which Cloud starts getting weird flashes as he is surrounded by Shinra soldiers. As I mentioned in the analysis, this actually didn't happen in the original game, but I theorized that this might have something to do with the inner voice that Cloud hears throughout Final Fantasy VII's story that tries to remind him of his true memories and self. One interesting theory shared by YouTube user Whirlwind Spiral was that the flashes Cloud is experiencing here might have to do with the fact that his old friend Zack died under similar circumstances, surrounded and overwhelmed by Shinra soldiers. Perhaps being surrounded himself, Cloud was reminded of that traumatizing incident that he suppressed deep in his memories, triggering the flashes. I think that's very plausible. So there you have it, folks. All the corrections and clarifications for my latest gameplay trailer analysis for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below any other things you guys might have noticed from the trailer that you'd like to point out, or any other corrections you'd like to make. And to be further updated on Final Fantasy VII Remake, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out!